What's up guys, I saw a couple of questions on the Tormach forums and figured I'd just make a couple little quick videos, might help some people out, maybe not. Um, just gonna make them real fast, not gonna really edit them or anything, but uh, the first one is, a, is I'll show you what I use to um, dial in my XY positions on the Tormach lathe. So what I use is, I'll put a link to this. I just got kind of one of these cheapo coaxial indicators. And um, it works pretty good though. So um, it's, it's not made real well and it's got some slop and stuff, but it seems to, you can kind of tell if it's centered or not pretty well. So I'll show you how I use that here. So first off, here's the indicator. It basically has a 3 8 inch shank that you put in your uh, spindle. And when this rocks, it gives you a measurement. And so you have different arms that you can use and put in here. Yeah, I just chuck it in the spindle. I'll put it super tight and leave a little space. Put this little arm on here to keep it from rotating and then I just grab, I just grab like a little Noga arm or this is one of those ones I got with the Tormach originally. Okay, I just wanna make sure that's aligned again with the, roughly with the slant. And I'm gonna go T10 in the path pile here. That's gonna set my tool 10 and I'm just gonna, center that hole. I'm gonna kind of eyeball it best I can right now. Of course I'm gonna clean that out a little bit. Okay, and I'll move down my X. Until it starts making contact. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a quick spin and see where I'm at. So we're all over the place right now. So let's start moving it in, get a little closer. Okay, let's see where that gives us. Still pretty far off. Okay, getting closer now. All right, so it's kind of hard to figure out which way you want this to go. So that makes the needle, pushing it in makes the needle go to the right. So that means this side, this side is too far that way. So we want to move our X this way a little, kind of half, half the distance. Okay, let's see where we're getting now. I'm getting pretty close already, so. I'm just doing the X right now. You do the same thing for the Z, or for the up and down. Again, that one you got a shim. I've already had this shim, I'm not gonna mess with it, but you do the exact same thing. So you can see here, we'll just, we'll center this. Okay, and then again, I'm just gonna go halfway. Center it, let's see where we're at now. And that, we're pretty much dead centered right there. So now if I had an actual, if I had this set up, I'd basically just, I don't wanna do it because I've got a tool set up here. But if I wanna do that, I'd basically go here and it's hit zero and then I'd hit this twice and then we'd be totally centered right there. Hey guys, again, that was just a little sloppy, uh, quick uh, little video tip. I learned that from Brad at Tactical Keychains. I think his videos are down now though, so thanks to him. Um, if you'd like to see any more videos, just subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's got Instagram, S2Jesse, uh, just at S2Jesse uh, for Instagram. And um, look forward to do a few more videos.